Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte, and today I'm gonna be installing some carbon fiber pieces on my G80 M3. All right, let's get it. All right, everyone. So, as y'all guys can see right here on my table here, we got some carbon fiber pieces right here. So these are gonna be the mirrors. So these are the direct replacements for the mirrors that are on the car. And then we also got the, uh, they call these air breathers. Don't sure, not sure why they call them the side air breathers. Um, because it's not a functional um, vent actually in the fender of the car, but these will go over the stock location uh, where the M3 emblem is. So just looking over to my car here, this car is gonna replace this part right here. It doesn't match anything else on the outside of the car, but this is gonna be a carbon cover, cover for that. And then also replacing the side mirrors, which are right here. All right, so I got this carbon from 22 Tuning. I've gotten a lot of stuff from them, as you guys know. So I got my inlets from them, and then I also got these pieces from 22 Tuning. So if you are interested in picking these up, I will be having a link down below, and I'll have my code pop up right here on the side of the screen, WYF32. You can use that to save up to 7%, all right? So as you guys can see right here, the carbon does look really good and it should match and flow with the rest of the carbon perfectly on the car. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install these first. These are pretty simple to install. Um, as you see, I kinda already kinda test fitted some 3M tape on the back of this, but it does come like this. Is they do give you some 3M tape in the packaging. So you see that right there. So they give you that so you can kinda line this up, make sure everything flows down correctly. So these are just kinda 3M tape on I'll show you how to do that, and then we'll get into installing the actual mirror caps, all right? So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, everyone, so as you can see right here, this is how the stock one looks. Looks pretty simple. You know, you have this kind of, I don't know, like a kind of a matte black finish right here, and then you have gloss black. I don't know why they did that. There's nothing else on the side of the car which is matte black. It doesn't make any sense. So I went ahead and picked these up. So this is kind of how it's gonna look. Just kind of goes on like that. Like I said, I would look at possibly, I was looking at possibly getting a whole carbon replacement for this, but it's $500 per side. I don't know if that's quite worth it, man. I think these little stick-ons, as you guys can kind of see right there, I think they do the job just enough. Um, and as long as you still have some of the gloss black on the car, you know, that's not that big of a deal, but I think that's way too much. $500 for this, just to get it in carbon fiber. I mean, BMW, come on, man. <laughs> but, uh, so, we got these carbon replacements, they'll go right on. So right now, I'm just gonna peel off the 3M tape on the back of this, and then just get it installed right on that. All right, everyone, so I have all the 3M tape peeled off the back, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. So, this should be pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Just kinda goes, I'm gonna put the edges on first, and then just kinda slide this in there hold it down for about 30 seconds there just want to make sure everything is on you know, so now i'm just applying pressure on the individual spots that i knew i had the 3m tape on just to make sure everything feels good so i'm holding it for about 20 25 seconds on each location all right guys so as y'all saw i did apply this to the back uh, i did apply the 3m tape that they supplied to the back of this and I just didn't feel like it was secure enough for my liking. So I do have like some mega 3M tape, mount tape right here that I'm gonna use. Um, and it supports up to 30 pounds. So it definitely should be able to hold this um, small carbon piece. So I'm actually gonna use some of this instead of the ones that they supply. I just feel like this is gonna probably stick a little better. So I'm gonna use this instead. So I'm gonna reapply some more strips on this one, okay? All right, everyone, so I went ahead and applied a 3M tape, as you see right here. So I think this is gonna stick a lot better. This is a lot stronger um, tape, and I think it just, I just got way more coverage area on this. So as you can see, I, maybe I went a little overboard, but I just wanna make sure it doesn't come off unless I want it to come off, you know what I mean? So everything is on it right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this, the backing off, and go ahead and apply it to the car. All right, everyone, so as you can see right here, I'm gonna go ahead and reapply with the new 3M tape that I put on. So you guys can see right there. So hopefully this will stick a little better. I'm gonna do it the same way I did before. All right. 
that is it. So, you guys can see right there, fits perfectly. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere unless you really tug on it. And it covers that unmatched black that's on the car. I think the carbon looks pretty good. So as you guys can give y'all guys a little closer look. So yeah, I think the carbon looks pretty good. And yeah, so it's a cheaper alternative to getting the full carbon one. And it just gives you a little bit of a different look and adds a little flair to the side of the vehicle, which I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then we'll jump on to the mirrors. All right, everyone, so as you see right now, we're gonna go ahead and focus on the side mirrors now. So what you'll need to do is make sure you push up on the innermost corner right there so you can get some um, area underneath here so you can grab it. So use like a little small trim tool, um, tool right here to get underneath. And this is gonna feel weird. You're gonna kind of push towards the car. Um, it's gonna feel like you're almost, you wanna be do it carefully and, and very gentle. You don't wanna break this glass here. So you kind of want to get underneath it. Actually, I'm going to use a bigger one just so I can get a little more torque. I'm going to use a bigger one here to get a little more torque. I am kind of just want to get underneath it here. I'm going to hold the glass with my hand. I kind of just want to push towards the car. You kind of just want to break this part loose. Not break it loose, but kind of get these clips loose. It just feels weird because it feels like you're about to smash the glass, but you're not. Um, you just got to get these little clips loose. There it goes. Whew. So I got those clips off there. And what I'm going to do is going to lay this right down here. I'm going to actually put a cloth right here so I don't. Um, so this doesn't hit the car, or scratch the paint. So I'm gonna get a cloth now. I'm just gonna put a cloth here so that doesn't dangle and scratch the paint. Oh, it does look like I might have cracked the glass. Crap. So this right here lets you know how easy it is to crack the glass. I did crack the glass here. Crap. So I will have to order some new glass. But I'll go ahead and put the carbon. Um, mirror caps in. Dang. Well, um, I thought that I was very gentle. I already done this on the other side. So, <laughs> dang, that kind of sucks. But, oh well. So, we'll get that replaced. It's not that big a deal. Um, we'll get it replaced. But, to continue on with the install, there's going to be two. There's going to be clips on this side and clips on this side. You're going to kind of have to push in so you can pull this out. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so just to give you a closer look here, there's gonna be these clips right in here, right here up top, right there that you're gonna to have to pop loose. And then as you're popping those loose, you'll push this that way. And there's also two more clips at the top right here um, that you'll have to pop loose and push it that way. So um, you'll probably have to get in there with like a little trim tool, pop it loose. Get in there with another trim tool on this side and pop it loose as well. And then once you do that, you'll be good to go. All right, and as you see, that kind of pops right out. And then I'm gonna go around this back, back end right here with the edge of this and kind of just go around it like that. And then you'll see this whole thing just kind of pop out once I do that. All right, then once you get all those off, as you see, this is loose. On this end right here, you'll kind of, there's a little, another clip right in here. Kind of have to work it towards you. It's a little difficult, but kind of have to work it a little bit. And pull this way. And as you pull that way, it comes right out. All right, so as you guys can see right here, this is the back side of everything. So you see there's a screw right there and a screw right there. So you're gonna take those screws out and then you're gonna be able to remove the light. And then the light's gonna transfer over to the new carbon unit from 22 tuning. So that screw right there, that screw right there is gonna come out and then you'll be able to pop this light out 
I think you'll be good to go. And as I was saying on that other end, this is kind of what you're looking at. That's why you kind of have to pull it that way and to get this edge out right there. Also, you'll need like a T20 to get these screws out, all right? That's one screw. That's another screw. And then once you got those two screws out, you'll push this in, the light in, and then it'll pop right out. Now the light here, lay that there. And then this is the old OEM mirror cover, mirror cover. So now it's time for the carbon one. So now here is the carbon one right here. As you guys can see, looks good, looks nice. So we'll go ahead and get this in. So it's gonna be pretty much the reverse of what we did to take it off to get it back on. Um, put the screws in, um, lay it in here, get in here laying right, and then you should be good to go. All right, everyone, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get this in. This is just gonna kind of go in there. And you'll see how these holes in the light will match up with the holes down in the back of the uh, cover. Kind of how that's gonna go there. You do have to kind of work it in here a little bit. Right. Then once it's in there, you see how it fits kind of good. Sometimes I like to look for it, look look at it on this side because you can see how the light's supposed to fall in line. Everything looks good there. So now I'm gonna line my screw holes up. They're lined up right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with this screw up here to get everything lined up. All right. All right. Then I'm gonna use the screw at the bottom to get the bottom lined up. That one's lined up, everything's in there. It's not going anywhere. So now, we can go ahead and get this put back on here. All right. And as y'all see right here, I'm just kind of putting it on and it's gonna go to reverse. So I'm gonna put this in on first. So, just kind of wanna grab this in, slide it in like I did before. Then you remember, when we took it off those two little clips that's gotta go on the top part, you wanna make sure you get those in too. So sometimes I might have to get, take a trim tool and kinda of get in there and make sure they fit in there correctly. All right, everyone, so I was able to get this in and as you guys can see right there, that is the fitment right there. Everything seems to be fitting okay right now. And then there's my broken mirror. <laughs> Sorry about that background noise. Um, but there's the uh, broken mirror right there. So I will have to look into getting one of these, getting that replaced. But all in all, that's the way it looks right there. So looks pretty good with that carbon on the outside right there. So at this point to get the mirror back on, you just kind of press it back on there, um, push it back on with the same amount of force, or maybe not the same amount of force, um, and just push it right back on. It clips right in. But this is right here is just a, shows you how easy it is to break these mirrors. Um, so we'll look into getting that fixed. And this right here is the other side that I had already put on. Um, and you can see how that one looks right there. Looks really good.
and no broken mirror on this side. So I don't know how I managed to break it on the one side and not the other, but eh, it's kind of what happens when you're working on a car, right? All right, everyone, so you saw the mirror cap install, you saw the side breather install. The side breather install is super simple, 3M tape, stick it on, you're good. Mirror cap install is a little bit more involved in it, but it's not difficult. Just have to make sure you don't smash your mirror like I just did. Ugh. But they look good on the car, they installed great, and it's always good to add more carbon to your car, right? So if you're looking for these, they'll be linked down below. Use my code WYF32 to get up to 7% off of your order. And there you go, man. So shout out, special shout out to 22 Tuna for getting these sent out. And that's the install. So I hope you guys like this video. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Sorry for the background noise. And I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.